Senegal is a great country, an incredible place. That's why we cannot and must not allow one man, current President Macky Sall, to sabotage the future of this great country. On February 3rd, he cancelled the presidential elections by decree, triggering growing resistance across the country. The elections have now been set for December. Clearly, this is an institutional coup d'etat an illegitimate extension of the president's mandate. So what next for Senegal? I have a controversial suggestion. But first, let me remind you that the opposition leader, Usman Sonko, is currently in jail, imprisoned for defamation. He is the people's choice for president, yet he's imprisoned on dubious charges and barred from vying. So here's the thing. In the African context, the ballot box no longer guarantees good governance and transformative leadership. We must therefore think outside this ballot box and craft new forms of governance that work for the African people. We should stop treating African countries like trucks that need a singular individual at the helm. Many of our presidents keep driving African countries into the ditch because they're drunk with power.